Well, hey everyone, how's it going? So I get asked constantly how this thing performs under a heat that is load. How hot do the components on the inside actually get? So uh, this is running. We are we have a perfectly sunny day. I'm putting out about 1,400 watts of solar right now at this very moment. The battery bank is falling because I have about a uh, uh looks to be about uh looks like it's about 4400 watts right now that i'm drawing i've been running this for about 10 minutes now i have a heat gun over there that's plugged in that's running at maximum so about 1500 watts and the two space heaters that are on nothing else in the house except for the uh, lights in the garage are on but they they have a really small draw so uh, this is, thing is uh, cranking right now, nearly 5,000 watts, and we're going to go ahead and see see how good the transformer is. I've got this in C because um, PowerJack measures everything in C. So this thing looks uh, pretty good. Now, 45C is when the inverter fans will actually come on automatically. I have them turned on manually right now, but. PowerJack has these set up so that at 45C, if the transformer hits 45C, or these heat sinks over here on the main boards hit 45C, then it'll automatically turn on the fans. And I believe the shutdown is 50C. I, I'm not positive about that, but I believe it's 50C on either the uh, heat sinks or the transformer. Uh, so. We can go ahead and get a measurement on the side of the transformer running 29.5 C. It looks like uh, 20, it's, let's just say 29 to 30 C. Uh, this top plate can get warm because it holds in a lot of the heat, but you can see here that it's actually running cooler right now. There's some hot spots on here. I'm actually thinking about getting rid of that. That is just a mounting screw or bolt that runs all the way down the middle and then you got this pad this uh, shock pad on the top now power jack does in fact utilize that which personally i don't think it's a um, a very good indication of heat because it's in the rubber pad so these things can prematurely shut down because all that heat is trapped in that rubber pad over there right where the uh, thermostat is and or thermistor and then uh, it'll shut down prematurely. I know some people have those issues where they won't be overheating, but the uh, the placement of the therm thermistor, there's one right there actually, right where I'm pointing the laser, the thermistor will actually shut it down prematurely because all this heat builds up over here in this area because of this rubber pad holding it in. But, uh, so let's check the, uh, the heat sinks on the main board. They are showing 18, 18C, 18C. Let's check the other main board. This is the secondary main board. 18, 17, 18, 17, 18. Uh, let's check the uh, components here. These actually do fluctuate in temperature. So the heat sink that is on one of the MOSFETs that is on this uh, power source board is running at about 25C. This transformer that's on the top here, 24C. Uh, let's check the CPU, see how this is doing. CPU is running about 23. There's another MOSFET here, we'll check that. It's on the uh, baseboard. That's, uh, let's try that again. Let's say 20C. Let's check some of the other components. I'm just kind of randomly going about some of these components. The garage right now is about 60 degrees, so it's not super hot. And I do not run this inverter with this lid off, only when I'm inspecting it, such as this. So everything on the, the uh, control board looks like it's uh, running nice and cool. Let's check uh, the capacitors here. They're all running nice and cool. Let's 
go back to the transformer. My battery bank is actually starting to get pretty low. I'm dropping below uh, 24 and a half volts. So it's uh, for me that's starting to get pretty low. So yeah, this looks pretty good. But again, I'm drawing about twice what I'm outputting from the, um, the solar bank or array. So the battery bank is doing all or most of the heavy lifting right now. 20, 26. There's some hot spots that you can see that are happening. Got some. So the transformer is running. We'll just say that it's running at a maximum of about 30C at max. Again, this is a nearly 5,000 watt draw on the inverter. It is holding up to the draw. My battery bank is probably starting to get a bit upset with me. I mean, nearly 5 kilowatts at 24 volts. That's a lot of amperage uh, coming out. What is that? 200 50 amps or so 225 amps or so coming out of the battery voltage or a battery bank so yeah everything is uh, staying nice and cool like I said I had some people who were asking me how this how cool this thing ran I'm not going to shut the fans off I'm not gonna take that risk because I'm not actually testing and reviewing right now I know that this inverter will handle this load and it will not overheat um, so yep looking pretty good actually that's actually a really cool temperature I've seen it as high as 40 C and that was when I was pumping that 8 kilowatt load on it this transformer I've seen it as high as that. That's as high as I've seen it. But again, I didn't leave it running as long as I'm running it now. So, all right, guys, there you have it. So if you have any questions, let me know. Take care.